discussion and consideration of potential sale of the Perkins Building located at 206 North Washington Avenue. Commissioner Holliday. Uh, yes, as we all know, the Perkins Building downtown has the roof collapsed in on it. And uh, while it's not an eyesore because we've had the, the windows painted down there, uh, which is perhaps a good move, it does nothing for the downtown and I think it should be sold and we don't have the money to fix the roof. You've already talked in the last session about the depletion of our reserves and we can't afford to fix the roof. So my suggestion, and I'll make a motion, that we, because the title to that is held in the downtown development. Uh, yes, sir, it uh, is. Right. And so I'd like to make an, a, a motion that we instruct the MDDA, MDDC, MDDC uh, to place that for sale with no minimum bid. Let's see if somebody will take it off our hands. Sounds good to me. I'll second that. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Okay. All right, we do have a motion and a second. Yes. This, did I hear a second? We have a motion and a second. And uh, I do have some questions regarding this. Uh, you know, when we were looking initially at some of the projects we were working at for quality of life, we definitely need to resolve what's going on at the Perkins building. Um, we had spoken in some meetings about the potential of putting a pocket park there where you're actually just removing the debris and you're pulling those things, which what would be your estimation you think to pull that debris out of that area? Well, it's not just debris. Uh, Mr. Morrison is working and I both have been working with uh, ERI okay. because we have to get it abated first. Yes, sir. And uh, we'll, you know, I have no estimation, and neither does, or did you get one since last time we talked? Go right here. Um, the, uh, Mr. Edmonds asked me to work with the RI to get an estimate and a kind of a demolition schedule of what that would look like. Yes. And they haven't gotten that to me yet. I talked to them this week. It'll probably be in the next couple of weeks. They'll have a schedule and what they estimate the cost would be for just cleaning out, leaving the storefront, but cleaning out the roof and everything that's inside. Right. And um, also, we, we kind of put this off a little bit uh, in, you know, good call by West because we have one going on lights and we didn't want a demo project going on in North sure. Washington in the middle of that. Thank so you. we did kick this behind one on lights. Uh, Mr. Redmond, can we stipulate that any sales will leave that lot clean enough to be a pocket park? It'd have to. Oh, oh, you're talking about the if we sell, sell if we food, sell the Perkins you building, you have to ask Scott on that one. That, that would be. I want to, I want to make sure that when they get through, it's not a pile of bricks. It's cleaned up, ready for a pocket park or whatever. Oh, and our demolition. If we do the demolition, it will be that clean. But now I can't say if. But if it's sold it. to a private person, that's my concern. Yeah, I don't know if we can do that or not. Yeah, I, I don't think that. Uh, or what the buyer, yeah. The buyer, yeah, I think once you're, you're, you're gonna restrict that piece of property from being sold if you do something like that. You can, in fact, restrict the use uh, of it, but I don't think that that's the best idea for marketing it. I just have visions of... I doubt that anybody is gonna pay anything for that building with the intention of just breaking in the windows and leaving it there. If anybody's going to buy that, the intention will be to do something with it. But they're not, we're not guaranteed they're going to do anything with that building. It could sit no. there for the next 10 years. No, th there's no guarantee, but it's been sitting there for how many years? Uh, it's been sitting there not as an eyesore, however. And so we have no control. Once that building sold, I just, until we get a price on what it takes to actually remove it, which we know we could actually do that in-house with our city, hopefully. Well, we have to pay ERI to do the budget. Right. Well, sure. I'm, I'm just saying the cost of that. Is, so, is uh, the money for ERI in the budget? No. Uh, Wes can have it here. We, can, we have a capital outlay fund where we can look at our city-owned buildings. So we, yeah, we have that. There's 200000 a year there. 210. 210, um, yes. Thank you. I do have a, uh, with our HUD grant, I do have some money for demolition. 
think this year we set aside in the, in the nature of fifty thousand dollars for demolitions. Now, yes, if we start doing that to the Perkins building, I'm pretty sure the next question is going to be, what does that do for our other demolitions that we have slated for this year? And that'll take away some of that. But um, you know, whether it's and I've also got some general fund money for demolitions as well. So I've got some money for demolitions that I can take from. Just know whatever I take from is what I do less in other demolitions. Yes, I, I understand that. And, and I'll repeat, I, I don't know whether there's a buyer out there or not, but why not advertise it and see if somebody will come forward that wants to buy it? I just, I'm not gonna be voting for this. I think it's a bad call. If, if right now we have control of that property and I want a private investor to come in. And I wanna know what costs are associated with at least the project right now. We know we can put a, a little pocket park there, which could have a little frontage and hopefully do that at a fairly low cost. Um, we had that hopefully inside of our last bid when we were looking at doing a, a capital outlay loan. And uh, so until I see that price, to sell that to a private individual where it sits there potentially 10 or 20 years, and then we have no control over what happens there, I just, I'd say that's not a good move for our city or for our downtown, especially at no cost. So if I bid $500, that's my building. And then I have potentially, you know, two to $300,000 worth of outlay, and it's just gonna sit there. So I won't and, be voting for and it. And potentially you could have somebody come in and buy that and put an office building in there or a store which would be great. And we, and we have other buildings down there that are for sale now, and that's not currently happening with those buildings, and they're currently for sale, and they're good properties. So when you're looking at the prospect of selling something at the lowest bidder versus them buying a, a property that exists currently, that's not happening right now. So we understand the market to a fairly decent degree. And uh, that's, the, that's the part. So we have control of the variables with that building. So. I'd like to see us control a little bit more of the variables. All right, with that, do we have a vote? We had a motion to approve. All those in favor? Aye. All opposed? Nay. 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 And do we have any abstentions? Okay. Thank you for putting this on there, Commissioner Holliday. We definitely need resolve with the Perkins building, and I thought we would have that resolved before you know, I think you'll see moving on it pretty quick. When the next two or three weeks, you'll start to get some prices in, and we'll we'll know what it's going, yes, and then sir. we can bid the the job out. Thank you. We're going to move to item eight.